The main emotions that come to mind when I think about this first year at Brokerage Brewing are satisfaction and contentment. From our staff that put their heart and soul into it to our customers that come over and over and over again, I'm just, I'm so thankful for the way that this space was received um, into the community. When I think about the first year at Brokerage Brewing Company, a smile comes to mind, just a big smile. It's completely exceeded my expectations about what our vision was originally. Overall, I mean, we're all having fun. I'm having fun. It's been a, it's been a really wild ride and I'm, I'm really looking forward to a vacation next year. Moving from bigger cities back to Greater Lafayette, we wanted to bring something back to the community. And so that was really the inspiration, was to create a space that would draw people in for something bigger than themselves. It doesn't matter what your background is, um, what your political beliefs are, uh, which neighborhood you live in. When you walk through those doors, you are welcome and you are a neighbor. Now we have this community of people that um, call brokerage their, their place. I just think the number of people that come back over and over again really blows me away. People that this space feels like an extension of their home and then other people that are just out for an adventure and happen upon us, so. We chose the logo of the white collar uh, man shaking the blue collar man's hand because we wanted to create that place uh, where everyone was welcome. There's just a general excitement in the air when people talk about Brokerage Brewery. The most fun part of opening the brewery for me has just been all the different people that we've met, from our staff and curators that we've gotten to know and get to do life with, to our customers that we get to um, you know, have them join us for their celebration or their sorrows or whatever it is. It's a place where people want to come and be. And so I just, I love that. I love meeting all the people that are there from different walks of life. The people interaction. Um, I love that we have so many regulars from the community. Uh, I've built a lot of, uh, made a lot of good friends uh, in the process, not just coworkers, but uh, in our regulars too. You're, you're sensing a theme here, I think, but the most fun part about opening the brewery is the people. The next year, um, we're hoping to um, add a little bit more capacity, maybe bring some food in. Um, and I like the fact that that will allow us to also have families and kids in the brewery too, which is um, something we haven't had been able to do yet. And I think that'll bring a new level of um, energy and life into the brewery. I'm just excited of the unknowns. There's so many things that will be coming down the road and I don't think year two will look like year one and so on and so forth. So um, the mystery of what's next is I think what's exciting. I think uh, between you know the great community response and Corey's great beer, we're gonna be very successful in the future. The best part about this facility for me is that I get to make beer, I get to meet the people who drink my beer, I get to drink beer with those people after a long day of work. Working with Stacy and Brian and Dustin, you can't help but get excited about things because they have such a huge vision of where they want to be in the future. With the influx of Jen and Jaren and the whole marketing team, um, I think that we all draw inspiration from each other. Thank you for a year of success. Thank you for a year of support. Thank you for a year of great conversation, deep conversation, sometimes hard conversation. But thank you for being there for us. And we hope to continue to be there for you. I just wanna thank the, uh, our loyal patrons uh, that come in all the time. Um, you make this brewery what it is. You've become part of our story, you've become part of our lives, you've really become part of our family, and I love getting to know all of you, and I can't wait for 2019 and what it holds. Sincere thank you. Um, I can't say it enough. We are overwhelmed with gratitude for each of you, and I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Our uh, head brewer, Corey, uh, to our head curator, Mike, to all the different uh, curators on our staff, um, to the people in our neighborhoods, uh, 
thank each and every one of you for coming in this year. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you're watching this and you haven't been in yet, then I expect to see you next year. So thanks a lot, everybody. So to all y'all folks that come in, uh, thanks a ton. I wouldn't be able to get to do this without you guys coming in. Uh, one of the things I like to say a lot uh, to folks, like, oh, thanks so much for making the beer, is you keep drinking it and I'll keep making that. And that's a promise. <laughs>